Hi everyone, Beth Blinker here from Sultana Education Foundation. And in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Chesapeake Bay. Now on Earth, there's lots of different bodies of water and the Chesapeake Bay is, as it's named, a bay. But what makes it a bay? How is it different from a river or a lake or a creek? Well, it's got three characteristics that we look for when we're determining what kind of body of water it is. So let's take a look at a map and see if we can identify those characteristics. A bay is a body of water that has three special traits. So what you're looking at right now is an image of the Chesapeake Bay. And the way that we got this picture is around Earth there's satellites out in space and those satellites can look down and take a picture. So that lets us see the entire Chesapeake Bay. And the first characteristic of a bay is that it's partially surrounded by land. So if you watch my computer cursor, you can see that I can trace all the way around the Chesapeake Bay until I get down here. And this brings us to our second characteristic of a bay. This dark blue thing out here, this is the Atlantic Ocean. And you can see the Chesapeake Bay and the Atlantic Ocean are connected, which means that salt water from the ocean can come into the Chesapeake Bay down here. And then the third characteristic are all of these squiggly lines. There's a big one, there's a little one, there's another one. All of these lines are rivers, and those rivers bring fresh water into the bay. So you've got fresh water coming in here, and then you've got salt water coming in down here, and they mix. And when they mix, they make a very special kind of water called brackish water. And up next, I'm going to show you an experiment of what happens when those two waters mix in the Chesapeake Bay. Okay, so we learned that there's three kinds of water in the Chesapeake Bay. We've got salt water from the Atlantic Ocean, fresh water from the rivers flowing into the bay, and then we've also got that mixture of the salt and the fresh water called brackish water. And it's really cool when these mix. And so I've got a tool here that's going to help me show you what that looks like. So I've got this tank and it's clear in the front and there's a divider right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour water on both sides. One is salt water, which would be from the Atlantic Ocean, and one is fresh water, which would be that water coming in from the rivers. And we're going to see what happens when they mix. So I'm going to open up both bottles here. I'm going to try not to spill it all over myself. And I'm going to pour the water in. And you can see those two colors, if you look closely, you might be able to see what's starting to happen on the inside. Okay, now my jars are empty and I'm going to take the divider out and let's see what happens to our water. Can you see all of that swirling and can you see that it's starting to turn green? Well, what that is, is on the bottom, that is our salt water, ocean water. The reason it goes to the bottom is it's it's more dense, it, got, it has more stuff in it. It's got all that salt and minerals. And then our fresh water doesn't have as much of that in it, so it goes on the top. And then that green layer in the middle, that is the brackish water. Those are those two kinds of water that are starting to mix together. And this is the water that we have in the Chesapeake Bay. Some animals really like that fresh water. Some like the salty water, and some kind of like it in the middle. So it's important when we're learning about the bay to understand how this water is mixing and what parts of the bay we're going to see these kinds of water because then we can guess what kind of plants and animals are going to be there. I hope you enjoyed our mini lesson on the Chesapeake Bay. After this video, there's some other links for activities to check out and some crafts to do. Um, if you'd like to learn more about different topics, check out our virtual classroom at sultanaclassroom.org. Thank you so much and have a good one.